Hello everyone, my name is Akib and here I'm going to show you a new and a better way to collect leads for your business. Guys, uh, just like Facebook lead ads and Google ads, you can also run ads on TikTok. And that is a very powerful tool to collect uh, leads for your business. So not only content creators, but many businesses use TikTok to generate leads for their business. And in this video, I would like to show you an automation by which you can automatically collect uh, leads from those ads and send them into your CRM where you can convert those leads into your customers. Okay, and guys, you will not need any coding skills or programming knowledge to set up this automation. So that is super easy. Now let me show you how you can also do this. So to set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And uh, with the help of this, we are going to create this automation and the flow of our automation will look like this. As and when you generate a lead from TikTok ads, the same lead will be added into your CRM automatically. Okay, so let's start setting up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard here. Okay, guys, please check the link that we have pasted in the description so that you can set up your free Pavli Connect trial account in just two minutes. And after that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard here. Okay, and here guys, you have to create a workflow of automation. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name uh, to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as send TikTok leads to CRM automatically. Okay, now you can click here on this create button and you will see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these things. The trigger is any event that occurs and action is the response to that event. Okay, so trigger acts as a signal to Pabli Connect. It gives the signal that when this happens, you Pabli Connect, you have to start uh, functioning and you have to perform a function according to the trigger you have received. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up this trigger here. And to set up the trigger, as in our use case, you can see the trigger would be any lead uh, generated from TikTok lead ads. Okay, and the action or the response to that trigger would be to send that same lead into your CRM that can be any CRM. And here we have taken the example of HubSpot. Okay, so first of all, set up this trigger, choose your trigger application first. So our trigger application is TikTok. So find TikTok from this choose app field, type here TikTok, and you can see we have this trigger TikTok lead generation, select it, okay. And uh, after this, it will ask for the trigger event. So it provides you trigger events like this new lead, okay. So whenever a new lead got generated from uh, TikTok lead ads, this will trigger, okay. So select this option, then click on this connect button, and from this window, select add new connection option, then click on connect with TikTok lead generation. Okay, so that will bring you to the login window of TikTok if you are not logged in. As I have already, I have already logged in here on my TikTok account, you can see. So it will only ask for the permission uh, so that I can connect my TikTok here with Pabli Connect. Okay, so you just have to click on this confirm button here and that's it then you will be connected with TikTok, okay? So you can see uh, the authorization is successful here and the connected button is showing up here. Okay, so now it is asking for the advertiser's ID. So guys, you can see, uh, I can show you my advertisement dashboard of TikTok and this is my dashboard, okay? And here I'm using this ID, guys. You can see this one, Magnet Brains, this one okay this is my id and i have two ids here actually and i'm using this one okay so you have to select your advertiser's id from this advertiser id field so click here and from this drop down select your advertiser's id okay now it is asking for the form id so you have to uh, create tiktok lead ads form here in tiktok so i have created this contact form you can see let me show you the preview of this form okay so this is the uh, TikTok ad form I have created. And here, whenever any person is going to fill, fill that form by clicking on your ad, 
this form will open up and whenever any person is going to fill this form you are going to generate a lead okay but right now I am not running any ads in TikTok. I have just created a form. Okay, so I cannot I I can select the form here like this. You can see I can select the form. But when I click here on save and send test request, it will start uh, waiting for collecting of collection of the lead. Let me show you. I'm clicking here on save and send test request. And you can see here it is started waiting for the response. Okay, this means if you are running lead ads or if you are running TikTok ads in TikTok, whenever any person is going to fill your lead ad form, the, the data of that person will be captured here in Pabli Connect like this here. Okay. But as I am not running any ad, this won't happen. Okay. So it will be keep waiting for the response, but no, don't, would not connect, collect any lead. So let me show you how the lead will appear when you collect it here in Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to use uh, an action step uh, from Pabli. So I'm going to click here on this action window. And from here, I'm going to choose TikTok again. And I will show you how the lead collection will look like by using an action event. Okay. So here I'm choosing TikTok again, TikTok lead generation. And here in this action event, I am going to select this create test lead option. Okay. So by selecting create test lead uh, option, I can generate a test lead, which is not a real lead, but uh, a test lead just to show you the demo, how the collection of the lead will look like. Okay. So I am clicking here on create test lead. And in actual workflow, you will not be uh, needing this step. I'm just using this step to show you how the collection of the lead will look like. So that's why I'm using this step and here I'm going to click on connect with TikTok again. And now I can select this existing connection option because uh, I have already connected with TikTok in the first step. So now just choose this existing connection and click on save and you will be connected with TikTok again like this. Okay. And here it is asking for the advertisers ID again. So select the advertisers ID. Okay. And then select the form, the lead ad form. Okay. Now click here when I when I'll click here on save and send test request, it will show me how the lead will appear when the data got captured here in public connect. Let me show you and the and uh, the same lead will appear here also because the trigger is because here in this trigger, I have selected a new lead generated. Okay, so it triggers whenever a lead got generated. So here I am actually using a test lead, but it will trigger for the test lead also. Okay. So you can see how the lead collection will look like in both of these steps. So I'm clicking here on save and send test request. And you can see this is how a collection of lead in public connect will look like. So here you will see the first name of your lead here. Okay. Let me show you the first name of your lead here. The last name of your lead here the email of your lead. Okay. And the group name and the creation of the, the time of creation of that lead. Okay. So it will show you these type of data here when you collect a lead in real time, when you actually, when you are actually running any uh, ad on TikTok. Okay. So here you can see in the first step, it will also collect the same data because a lead got generated here. Although we have used a test, lead option okay like this okay now what you want you want to add the same lead into your crm for that what you have to do you just have to uh, come down here and click on this plus icon and another action step will open up and in that action step i'm going to connect my crm application okay so we are using hubspot as an example so you have to type hubspot here okay this is hubspot crm option right and in this action event, now you have to select this create a contact option with basic properties. Okay. So it will create a contact in HubSpot or you can all, uh, do all these things in the CRM by using these action events. You can create a company, you can uh, get pipeline of object, you can update any contact. Okay. You can do all such things here. Now I'm using this create a contact option. Okay. Then click on connect here. And from this window, you have to select add new connection. 
and then it will ask for the API key to connect with your HubSpot CRM. So guys, you have to follow these instructions. You have to go to your HubSpot account, click on the settings icon, and from this uh, integrations option, you will find the key. Let me show you the process. Guys, this is uh, my HubSpot's dashboard, you can see, and here I can create contacts and add the contacts here, okay? So that I can communicate with these contacts and convert them into my customers, okay? So here, when you click on this settings icon on the top right corner, like this, the settings page will open up. And from here, you have to come to this left hand side panel and scroll down here like this. And here you will find this integrations tab. Under this integrations tab, you will find this API key option, click on it. And on this page, you will find this active API key. So you just have to click here on this show button and click on this and now you can copy this key by clicking on copy and then you have to paste this key here in this API key field like this okay then you have to click on save and you will see that will be connected like this okay and here to create a contact in CRM it is asking for the email address that is required field the first name the last name the website the company name and all other fields that you can uh, enter here okay if you have the data of all these things okay so guys uh, to create a contact we are going to map the details that you are going to get from the previous steps from this first step okay so right now we have these two steps here okay let me show you so this is the first trigger step okay and this is the action I used to show you the demo how the uh, collection will look like you not you did not require this step so you can delete this step as well uh, let me delete this okay because in real time you won't be needing this if you are running any ad on TikTok you will you will be needing to connect your TikTok with trigger okay so whenever you got a lead the data will be captured here like this okay Although if you are not getting a, a lead in real time when you are setting up this automation, you can use the process that I have followed to set up this automation. And what is that? To uh, connect TikTok again in this another action step and use create test lead option as the action step. Okay, right. And we are going to use the details that we have captured here in this first step about the lead that we got. Right now we got the test lead, so we are going to uh, use the data of test lead only, okay. Now come back down here on this HubSpot step and here in this email address, click here and you will find the previous steps that you have uh, applied and from this first step, from this lead generation new lead step, uh, when you got the data, you can, you will see the data here in, in this drop down only. And from here, find the email ID of the uh, lead. So you can see we have this email ID here. This is the email ID. It is giving us the test email address, but in real time, it will show you the actual email address of your lead. So map the email ID like this. Okay, for the first name, find the first name from the same step. Okay, so it will show you the label of first name. Here you can see we have this first name label which is showing this first name, test first name actually, map this, okay. For the last name, map the last name, okay. This is the last name. For the website, if you have the website, you can enter. Right now I'm leaving this blank. And if you have the company details as well, the phone number, I think we have a phone number. Let me show you, we have the test phone number, I think. Okay, when you scroll down, you will find this phone number field as well, okay. So you will find all the things in the first step, uh, which you have, which you have collected from the lead ads here in TikTok. So in this form, I have asked for the first name, the last name, the email, and the phone number. So I'll 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 only got these four things, and I have mapped these four things. You can see. So I'm leaving all these things blank. This is not compulsory thing to fill. Okay. Now let's check our connection with our CRM. I am going to click on Save and Send Test Request and this same uh, test lead will be added as a contact here in my crm that is hubspot let me show you right now i have all these contacts now let's check our connection i'm going back to pably and i'm clicking on save and send test request here and you can see it started showing this kind of response 
Now let's check in my CRM if the content got added. I am refreshing my CRM page. And guys, you can see a new test lead got added here with the test name as first name, last name. Okay, the test email address and the phone number. So these are the things I have mapped here. So when you map things, what will happen in real time after setting up this automation, whenever you got a lead generated from TikTok ad, the same data will be mapped here and the same data will be transferred automatically within a minute in your CRM. Okay, or I can say instantly right so uh, we are done setting up this automation here let me give you a quick recap what we have done so i have connected TikTok in the trigger first with the new lead as trigger event and after that it started showing waiting for the response so as i am not running any ad on TikTok, so it will keep showing waiting for the response so what i did i connected TikTok again in the action step like here and where i used an action event which was create a test lead and with the help of that test lead option i captured this data here and on the second step also okay and with the help of this data only i uh, i mapped the data here to create a contact in my crm so i and in another action step i connected crm application then mapped the data that we got from the first step like this and we are done now you just have to click on save and we are done and guys you have to set up this automation only once after that whenever you generate any lead from the ad you are running on TikTok, the same lead will be added instantly into your crm okay and guys you can use this same workflow also because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you got any query regarding our business automation, you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum. And guys, if you want to check the pricing of this application, you can use this link. And if our automations are helping you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.